Hi everyone, welcome to Sports Broadcasting Center. I'm Tyler Conrad along with White Kawhi, also known as Jacob Moser, and Thomas Abington. When you think of comeback stories, you think of the Red Sox, Dave Roberts and the Bloody Sox coming back from a three, game, three games to none deficit to their dreaded rival, the Yankees, in the 2004 ALDS. The Red Sox went on to win the World Series that year for the first time since 1918. Or maybe you think about the 93 Buffalo Bills who trailed 35-3 in an AFC playoff game only to win 41-38. Now, comeback means one word, Tiger. Tiger Woods is back and perhaps has cemented his place as the greatest golfer who ever lived as he won the Masters for, the, for his first major title in 11 years. Tiger trailed by two strokes heading into the final round at Augusta National, but he finished with four birdies on the back nine to win by one shot, capturing his first Masters in 14 years. The Golden State Warriors have done something that Michael Jordan's Bulls, Magic Johnson's Lakers, Larry Bird's Celtics, or any team that LeBron James has ever played for has ever done. Their 119 to 117 overtime victory over the Portland cemented their fifth straight appearance in the NBA Finals, making them the first team to ever do so. And Warriors head coach Steve Kerr is the first coach to take a team to the Finals in each of his first five years in the league. Only the 1960s Lakers and Celtics went to five straight NBA Finals, and LeBron James individually played in eight consecutive Finals for two different teams. The Warriors swept the series with an injured Kevin Durant and now await the winner of the Toronto-Milwaukee series in the Finals. Did we already talk about a comeback? Maybe this one is on a par with Tiger's return to prominence. Virginia last year became the first number one seed to lose to a 16 seed in the NCAA tournament. The loss to UMBC was a shocker and an embarrassment to the Cavaliers. But last night here was Virginia knocking off upstart Texas Tech in overtime for the national championship as this game was a thriller with a lot of offense for two teams known for their defense. Virginia was paced by a star forward, DeAndre Hunter, who scored 27 points, and tournament MVP, Kyle Guy, who had 24. Jarrett Culver led the Raiders with 24. There was no game action at the NFL Draft, but the TV ratings once again were mind-blowing as fans of the NFL teams watched eagerly to see who their favorite teams would select in Nashville, Tennessee yesterday. More people watched the draft than some games in the NBA playoffs, according to ESPN. No surprises here early as Arizona made Oklahoma quarterback Kyler Murray the top overall selection. Three defensive linemen went next as the 49ers grabbed Nick Bosa, the Jets took Quinn and Williams, and Oakland took Cleland Farrell. The Giants grabbed their quarterback of the future, selecting Daniel Jones at Duke with the sixth overall pick. Finally, War of Will won the Preakness Stakes at Pimlico in Baltimore by a clear margin. The win gave redemption to pundits of the decision to disqualify maximum security who bumped War of Will at the Kentucky Derby, allowing country, country House to win. This was the first time since 1951 that race officials called interference in a race deciding the outcome of one of horse racing's major events. That's it for a busy day in sports. For Tyler Conrad, Tom Abington, I'm Jacob Moser. Thanks for watching Sports Broadcasting Center.